On to other news now, the ageing population trend in many countries increases the need for nurses and healthcare workers. Japan is one country facing staffing shortages due to low wages and a physical strains that come with the job. Terence Tarashima takes a look at how Japan is turning to robotics to plug the gap in the healthcare sector. Japan is facing a number of problems caused by its fast aging society. Shortage of nurses and care workers has long been a problem addressed for decades. Some are forced to leave their jobs to take care of their family members. Stress and fatigue from nursing is one of the biggest social problems Japan now faces. To relieve this problem, Japan is looking to robotics for help. Communication robot Paro is one such robot, already introduced to many elderly homes. It is able to have simple conversation and entertainment program is installed which people can enjoy the interactions. Many of the elders are hesitant in communicating with the staff, worried of bothering already busy care workers. When we hold recreation sessions, we are focused on the exercises so we can see the condition of the individuals. If robots can do their part, we are able to observe the patients and assess the health condition of the individual. It helps us very much. Healing Pet Robot is also used in this facility, where this baby seal reacts to the voices from the user and makes body or facial expressions. It is said to relieve stress and helps people too shy to mingle. Low wages, long hours, late nights and physical burden are also reasons behind the shortage of nurses. Lifting patients from bed to a wheelchair can be hectic. Robotics has a solution. Power assisting suits are already being used in airports and elderly homes. To reduce the burden of care workers, robotic plays an important role, such as this integrated care bed, which will turn into a wheelchair. It will save a burden of lifting a person from one to the other. We're looking to reduce the physical burden for care workers from repeatedly lifting people every day. We also want this to help the elderly, prevent them from being bedridden. If they're able to leave their beds easily, they can mingle with the others and remain active. It might not be long until we see scenes like this where robots can take active role in hospitals, distributing food and medicines to designated locations. Experts say with a fast aging society, faster development and practical use of these kinds of robots is essential. Terence Tashima, CCTV, Tokyo.